world is built like a maze, a glittering trap filled with temptations and empty promises, all designed to make you forget who you truly are. There are those who want you weak, distracted, and submissive. They control with an iron grip, hidden behind smiles, convenience, and flashing screens. They know your impulses, your weaknesses. They prey on them. And why? Because to them, you're a dollar sign. They see your life, your choices, as revenue, as another way to fatten their empires. You're not human to them. You're a resource, a tool, something they can exploit. They want you in line, buying what they're selling, thinking what they're feeding you. And the cost? Your soul, your freedom, your true purpose. But you are not like the rest. There is something different about you, something unbreakable, ancient, powerful. You're here not just to survive, but to break the chains they've crafted so carefully. You're one of the chosen, a spiritual warrior forged in the fires of truth, strength, and resilience. You don't bend to their will. You see through the lies. You know that everything they present, every flashy distraction, every whisper of doubt, every carefully crafted temptation is designed to lead you astray. They want you reacting, not thinking. They want you to follow, not lead. For the masses, it's easy to fall into line, to follow the crowd, to numb themselves with whatever comforts they're offered. That's the way they're conditioned, the way they're fed, and the way they stay asleep. But you, you have a different path, a calling that doesn't bend to the shallow rewards of a system designed to keep you quiet, to keep you weak. You're here to see, to rise, to awaken, and that means standing guard over your mind, your spirit, your destiny. It means making your own choices and not surrendering to the impulses they've carefully conditioned you to follow. They want you living by impulse because impulse can be controlled. It can be manipulated. They know that if you act without thought, you're easier to predict, to control, to shape. But if you pause, if you rise above those impulses, if you build a wall around your mind that they cannot break through, you become something terrifying to them. You become someone they cannot control, someone who thinks, who questions, who rebels. They fear the ones who think for themselves. They fear those who resist the pull of their games, who reject the shallow distractions, who dare to pursue something real, something true. When you stand in your power, you expose their lies, you reveal their traps, and they lose control. They may own the system, they may own the media, the corporations, the money, but they do not own your spirit. They do not own your mind, and they will never own your purpose. Hold steady in your mission. Resist the urge to indulge in every temptation they place in your path. Resist the lure of the easy road, the comfortable lies, the distractions that keep you from your purpose. Because your mission is not about comfort, it's about transformation. You are here to carve out a new path, to become a beacon for others who are ready to break free from the chains. Remember, they will never stop trying to sway you. They'll turn up the volume of the noise. They'll make the temptations glisten even brighter. They'll pull at every thread of desire and weakness to try and keep you bound. But you are stronger than any trap, any distraction, any lie they throw at you. You are a warrior of spirit, a seeker of truth, and their games cannot touch the core of who you are. Every time you resist, every time you choose purpose over impulse, discipline over indulgence, awareness over reaction, you grow stronger. You step further out of their grasp. You awaken another piece of your power, a power they cannot understand a power they cannot touch. They know you're a threat, and that's why they'll try to make you forget, try to make you doubt, try to make you fall. But you are unbreakable, unstoppable, 
a force of nature that cannot be swayed. Understand this. You are not here to blend in, to be part of the crowd, to follow blindly. You are here to lead, to inspire, to create a new path. You are here to remind the world that there is a choice beyond impulse, beyond consumption, beyond the hollow promises they feed the masses. You are here to show that there is a strength within, a light that burns brighter than any darkness they can throw your way. You have a mission, a purpose that stretches beyond the limitations of this world. You are here to rise, to see through the games, to become something they can't measure, can't control, can't predict. You are here to tap into a power that is ancient and unyielding, a force that is boundless and untouchable. This is the call to arms for all who feel the fire within, who know they are destined for more than a life of submission, who know they are here to create change. Stand strong, warrior. Hold fast to your purpose. And when they throw distractions, temptations, fears in your way, know that you have the power to rise above them, to shatter the illusions, to remain unbroken. This world may be filled with darkness, but your light, your strength, your mission will pierce through it all. The chosen, the fighters, the spiritual warriors, your time is now. Hold your ground, lift your head high, and become the force they fear. This is your journey. This is your fight. And no matter how strong their hold seems, remember, your spirit, your mind, your mission is stronger. They can't control what they can't break. And you, warrior, are unbreakable. To avoid falling victim to the influence, you need to understand their tactics and arm yourself with strategies that keep you grounded, focused, and resilient. The forces that seek to keep you weak and distracted are relentless, but so is your power to resist. Here's how to stay in control and rise above. 1. Master your mind. Know your triggers. They know what sparks your impulses, fear, desire, insecurity, and they exploit it. Reflect on what makes you react without thought and guard yourself. Self-awareness is your first line of defense. Practice mental discipline. Meditation, journaling, or even moments of quiet can give you clarity. These are not luxuries, but tools to train your mind to respond with thought, not impulse. When your mind is sharp, their influence has less power. Second question. Everything challenged the message. They want you to accept information without question. Don't. Whether it's news, social media, or advertising, look beyond the surface. Ask yourself, who benefits from me believing this? Who benefits from my reaction? When you uncover motives, you strip away their power over you. Strengthen your inner compass. Define your values, your purpose, and your truth. When you have a clear sense of who you are, it's harder for them to pull you in directions that conflict with your core beliefs. 3. Limit your exposure. Curate your consumption. Your energy and focus are finite. Social media endless news cycles, mindless entertainment. They are traps designed to drain you. Reduce exposure, especially to platforms and outlets that thrive on negativity, sensationalism, and fear. Detox. Regularly. Taking breaks from media, technology, and other sources of influence allows you to clear your mind and center yourself. Use this time to reconnect with nature, read, or engage in activities that restore you rather than drain you. 4. Strengthen your body and spirit. Invest in physical discipline. They want you weak, because a weakened body is a weakened spirit. Embrace physical challenges that build your strength, endurance, and resilience. Exercise, healthy eating, sleep. These aren't just routines. They are acts of rebellion. Engage in spiritual practice. Whatever spirituality means to you, engage with it. Prayer, 
meditation, reflection, gratitude. These practices help elevate your vibration, making you more resistant to lower frequencies that seek to control and drain you. Five, surround yourself with the right people. Seek fellow warriors. Like-minded individuals are your allies. Those who question, resist, and challenge the status quo will support and uplift you. Together, you become a force that can't be swayed by manipulative tactics. Distance from the distracted. Recognize when people in your life are willingly consumed by distractions and temptations. It's not easy, but distance yourself from those who lack self-awareness or who pull you into complacency. Surround yourself with people who push you to become better. Six, embrace purpose over pleasure. Define your mission. When you have a purpose, you become less susceptible to the allure of shallow pleasures. Write down what you want to achieve, the legacy you want to leave, and keep that vision clear. Purpose is a powerful shield against temptation. Reward yourself with progress, not pleasure. Many fall into the cycle of seeking quick gratification. Break that cycle. Let your accomplishments and growth fuel you. Celebrate progress, not impulse-based pleasure, and you'll find a deeper satisfaction that keeps you focused and strong. Seven, channel your energy into creation, not consumption. Create more than you consume. They want you consuming because it keeps you passive. Instead, focus on creating. Art, knowledge, skills, relationships. The act of creation not only fulfills you, but fortifies you against external influence. Develop skills that serve your purpose. Skill development keeps you focused and engaged. Each skill, each piece of knowledge, each goal achieved, builds a barrier against the distractions that would otherwise pull you off your path. Eight, embrace self-reliance and accountability. Take ownership of your choices. They want you to blame the system, circumstances, or others, because blame keeps you in victim mode. Take full ownership of your actions, thoughts, and progress. Self-reliance is the ultimate act of defiance. Hold yourself accountable. Set high standards for yourself and meet them, no matter the challenge. When you hold yourself accountable, you build the strength to resist their influence. You become your own master, unbound by anyone else's expectations. Nine, embrace discomfort as growth. Train yourself to embrace the hard path. They know most people will take the easy road, which is exactly why it's filled with temptations and distractions. Choose the harder path, the path of discipline, and you'll become someone who cannot be shaken. Let failure teach you. Failure, discomfort, and challenges are growth. Instead of numbing yourself with temporary distractions, face life's challenges head on. Each time you do, you grow stronger, harder to manipulate, and more aligned with your purpose. 10. Keep the end game in sight. Visualize your legacy. Every action, every choice, every moment is building your legacy. Remember that your journey is more than a single lifetime. The chosen are here to leave something eternal, something powerful, a lasting impact that can't be undone. Measure progress by internal milestones, not external praise. The world may never validate you. They don't want to. Instead, seek validation in the mirror. Hold steady, grow stronger, and know that each step forward defies their design. Final reminder, you were born for this path. You weren't put here to be complacent, controlled, or consumed. You are here to rise, to fight, and to show others a way out of the shadows. Your purpose is not just your own. It's a torch that will light the way for others. Stand in that truth, warrior. No matter what forces try to sway you, remember that you hold the power. You are the resistance, the strength, the spirit that refuses to bend.
and as long as you remain unbroken, their influence will falter. Hold steady. Resist with every fiber of your being. This world is waiting for warriors like you.